Hi everybody, my name is Scott Haney. I work at Channel 3, uh, Eyewitness News. I'm the morning meteorologist. I've been here for about 14 years now, and if you have uh, ever tuned in, you know, one of my uh, biggest advocates is for animals, and uh, especially getting shelter pets adopted. And, uh, the, you know, I have uh, just such a huge heart for these uh, animals, and anything I can do to get them adopted and find them homes is, is a, is a uh, it's just a mission of mine, and I've been asked to speak to you uh, on behalf of Husky's Paws for a Cause team and um, about adopting a dog as opposed to buying one in a pet store. Now, before, we be, uh, before I show you some pictures, there are reputable breeders out there, and if you want a purebred dog and that is something that you really want, I urge you in, uh, to investigate the breeders that are reputable and that have a substantial record and that you could check on their dogs and check with the people uh, that have adopted these dogs to see what kind of conditions that they were born into and raised. Again, there are reputable breeders out there, but unfortunately, there are two million puppies born into the United States, that's one estimate, that are born out of what we call puppy mills. And if we could take a look at some of the pictures, these are the conditions that some of these dogs go through. This is one of the dirtiest dogs I've ever seen. And here's what's happening. There are thousands of these puppy mills across the nation and they don't care. All they care about, they don't care about the, the, uh, the well-being of the dog. All they care about is about the monetary, uh, the money that goes into buying, uh, getting these dogs sold and into puppies. Now, your dog is never going to look like this. It's going to look cute and cuddly as you pass the pet shops and they're inside playing with the balls and the shredded paper. But this is the mother. This is where the dogs are coming from. This dog will never, ever have human contact. It will never, ever know what it is to love another human, a human being or even another dog because it's kept in a cage for its entire life until it's done with its breeding cycle and then it's literally euthanized, thrown into a dumpster. Here's another shot. This is how the dogs live. And, and, and again, this is a, a, there are mills everywhere, but basically they're, you know, they're, they're in the Midwest in uh, s states like Arkansas and Kansas and, and uh, you know, those are just a few. I mean, go to the Midwest, any of these states, and, and they're not just limited to that part of the country. They're everywhere, thousands of these puppy mills throughout the United States. And this is the living conditions of the dogs that you are going to get a puppy from if you go to a pet store, more than likely. I, you know, a picture says a thousand words. This is a Maltese. This is the dog that they bred and bred and bred to try and uh, make money. And they did, and they got a lot of puppies out of this girl. But this is the condition that she is in. So uh, can we just, I can't look at this picture anymore. Thank you. So um, if I can encourage you to adopt, you will never regret that decision. I, or I can almost guarantee you that. These dogs know that they are in, home, uh, in a homeless shelter. They will know that they have been rescued. They will love you. Uh, not every, again, not every case is perfect, but um, I just can't emphasize enough how many local shelters there are out there. And even if you want a purebred dog, there are rescue organizations for purebred dogs, labs and golden retrievers. So if you must have a, a purebred dog, then uh, I suggest one of the rescue organizations out there. But if you can take a nice little mutt, they are the best and the smartest dogs out there. And they are in pounds all across Connecticut. And many of them only have seven to 10 days to get adopted or otherwise they are euthanized. So if you've got a little room in your home and in your heart to accept a dog or even a cat. I know I have three of my cats and I got them all from shelters and I adore them. Um, that is my, uh, my, my word of uh, advice is to please seek out the shelters and avoid buying a dog. Uh, again, my name is Scott Haney. I can be reached at shaney at wfsb.com if you have any comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for uh, this opportunity to speak on behalf of all uh, dogs that are in shelters and cats that are in shelters that need homes.